Hey everybody, it's Jennifer and um, this is my day two video uh, documenting my journey on the 40 day uh, transformation detox using the Dr. Sebi eating uh, methodology. I, if for those of you that are not familiar with Dr. Sebi, I suggest you do a Google search or go onto YouTube and check out some of his videos. He is actually a holistic healer who has helped individuals from all over the world cure themselves naturally of HIV, AIDS, uh, cancer, diabetes, all types of very, very serious ailments. And his whole philosophy is that the body is made to be in balance. Um, and so if we give the body exactly what it needs to be in balance and to be in what we call an alkaline state, uh, there is no disease that can dwell in your body. From his whole assertion is that alkalinity, having an alkaline environment, disease cannot live in your body. And so uh, that is one of the fundamental principles. One of the other principles is that there are natural, unnatural, and hybrid foods that are in our environment, in our space. Unfortunately, the majority of people, especially in Western, uh, with the Western culture, uh, we eat foods that are totally unnatural. We eat packaged foods, we eat you know, stuff with all kinds of weird names that we can't even pronounce. We, may, we eat foods that are not natural to the planet, that were not created by God. These are uh, things that are created by man, and because of that, they are not giving us the nutrients, the things that we need in order to thrive and to uh, stay healthy. And so what we find is that, you know, we have generations of people that are developing cancer, uh, diabetes, all these different ailments at a very early age and a lot of it just has to do with their bodies not being in balance from not getting the type of nutrients that it needs. And so I'm actually going on this, this detox journey myself and um, this for me is more than just a uh, physical uh, detox, it's also a spiritual and emotional detox for me. It is me releasing the things, the ideas, the people, the places that are not serving me anymore and that are holding me back from being my best and highest self. I know that when my body gets back into balance, my spirit, my emotions, my my full being will be in, in better balance. And so this journey is about um, getting the whole me back in balance and on the path to where I need to go. So I'm really, really excited about that. What I wanted to share with you was kind of my experience of my first day with the detox. And uh, my experience this first day was, um, it was pretty good. Um, I stayed on course. <laughs> um, I started the day with a mango coconut smoothie, which was fantastic. Um, I'll probably share that, that recipe uh, with you at another time, but um, I, I started the day off with that, and then I was on the go um, yesterday. I was really, really busy, and so I left the house and did not make a plan for food, and so I found myself out. I ended up getting a nice, big, um, greafy, green leafy salad, which was great, um, with some chickpeas and um, some approved Dr. Sebi approved vegetables, so they were all good, balsamic vinaigrette, and um, that was lunch. And for dinner, I had uh, hummus and falafel, which was really, really good, oh, and salad. Um, so it was really good, um, but I had to make a lot of pivots because I was out and hadn't really planned for it. One thing about um, my experience from yesterday that... Um, I'm taking with me is that when you when you're making any huge changes in your life when you're when you're trying to make a huge shift you are going to uh, be tested in ways that are going to bring up different things about your personality your your ways of being that are holding you back or keeping you or putting you in the place that you're in right now 
So if we want to elevate or go to another level, we're going to have to be different. You know, um, if you may have heard the idea that the the person that you need to be in order to have the success that you want is going to be a different you. If you were going to be a multimillionaire, it's going to actually require that you be different than what you are now because if you were that way then you would already be that multi-millionaire or whatever it is whatever your um, aspiration is if you were already dwelling in that space then you would already have the thing which you desire so it's all about elevation getting our, our energy and our vibration to a higher state and that is um, encompasses both our physical as well as our emotional and our spiritual um, but anyway I'm saying all that to say what this what that process yesterday did for me is that it reminded me or it brought up um, how I tend to procrastinate I was alerted about this um, collective 40-day detox a month ago and um, I procrastinated doing some of the pre-work I procrastinated getting my groceries I procrastinated um, all these different things and so because of that now I'm scrambling trying to stick to my plan to to execute in a high level but yet I'm not I'm not showing up prepared that's like um, showing up to a test and not having a pencil you can't do the work if you do not come prepared and so that that you know, I already got that epiphany um, on day one, and it's motivated me to uh, be a lot more diligent about getting things in order in a timely fashion, not waiting to do things that I could do tomorrow when it can get done today. And so I'm just grateful for that revelation. Um, there are some supplies that I needed for the, this particular process that I had to order online so I'm waiting on that stuff to get shipped to me but I'm going to be heading over to the grocery store later and um, picking up a bunch of things that will allow me to, to start cooking and um, you know planning out my meals and being more diligent in my process so I'm really excited about that um, other than that I feel great um, is day two um, I've had I think the only downfall that I can see right now is that I haven't been drinking enough water. So I'm going to have to um, double down on my uh, frequency of water intake. But other than that, I feel great. Um, I'm going to go to the gym later. And I still have good energy. So we'll work it out. Um, that's it for today. Um, I'll make sure to update you on day three. Oh, I guess tomorrow will be day two. I'll update you on how day two is going. But anyway, hope you are having a fantastic day. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.